Occupy Till I Come, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is one sentence out of Luke 19, 13, Occupy Till I Come. These words remind us that he's going to return one day. And we not only here have the promise of his return, but also the prescription for what we're to do during the interim until he returns. We are to be busy in the kingdom of God, reaching boys and girls, men and women with the gospel of Jesus Christ, ushering them into God's forever family by trusting in Christ's work on the cross. We're to be single-minded. The word occupy means take care of business. Uh, literally in the Greek, and the business of the church is the winning of the lost, going out and finding that one sheep and, uh, uh, you know, leaving even the 90 and 9 to go and find the one that was lost. We're to have a passion for those that don't have a relationship with God. Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost. So it means that we need to get out of our comfort zones and be diligent and vigilant and invest our lives in building God's kingdom through acts of love, service, generosity, sharing the gospel. We're to faithfully steward all that God has given us. Life on earth is a temporary assignment and Christ's return is our blessed hope. Until that day, we're to stay busy at the master's business, living each day as though it could be our last. And we don't know when it's going to be our last. Christ could come back at any moment or we could perish at any moment. And I'm not trying to be a, a, a you know, uh, a downer to you, but I just want you to understand this is a temporary existence. Eternity is what we're designed for. So do your best to occupy, to stay busy within the kingdom until Jesus Christ comes back. And we say, Maranatha, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Mighty Father God, I thank you for these. I pray that you would bless them. Help us, God, to be engaged in your most holy business. Help us, God, not, not to be slack or indolent, but to be busy workers in your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great day.